Hello, AP Stat students. Uh, sorry I haven't seen you recently. I really hope to be back as soon as possible. Um, I got a question about PDF histograms, so I figured I'd take some time to go over it with you guys. We're going to do it using this bullseye problem. Now, we know that probability of hitting the bullseye is 80%, and we are dealing with six arrows. Now, the first question we have to deal with here is, what is X? And X is going to be the number of bullseyes hit. That's what we're dealing with here. Okay. So now we're going to take this a step further. We're going to construct a table. And the table is going to be the key to putting together our histogram. So I'm going to make it two rows. On top is going to put... I'm going to use... X, which is going to be the number of hits out of the six, and then I'm going to put my probability down here. So I have six arrows, so I have six possibilities. I can hit it zero times, I can hit it one time, I can hit it twice, three times, four times, five times, and six times. Since I'm only shooting it six times, that is my maximum. Okay, so I want to calculate the probability of hitting the bullseye zero times first. So I'm going to use my binome PDF function. Because remember, order doesn't matter here. If order did matter, then I could use geometric probability. So I punch it in. I'm going to do binome PDF. I want six times. There's a 0.8 probability. I'm looking at the probability of hitting it zero times. When I get that, I'm going to get a really small value. It's going to be 6.4 times 10 to the negative fifth power. So that means if I'm an 80% bullseye hitter with my bow and arrow, chances of me not hitting it at all six times is going to be incredibly low. So it's actually going to be very close to zero. So I'm going to be just going to put this little symbol here, meaning that I'm not giving exact probabilities, but I'm giving something close. So my probability of not hitting one is going to be very, very close to zero. So I'm just going to put zero there. So then I'm going to do binome PDF to figure out probability of me only hitting it once. So I'm going to use the same functions here. I'm going to try it six times, still a 0.8 probability. And I'm doing it once. When I plug that in, I'm going to get a small number, 0.0015. That's what you should be getting, too. So in this box here, I'm going to put point zero zero one five, And I would proceed to do that for every possibility here. I'm going to do binome PDF 6.8, and then I'm going to plug in how many times I hit that bullseye. So for twice, three times, four times, five times, and six times. And instead of walking through it every single time, I'll just show you what I got. And hopefully this is what you get. Point... Uh, 0, 0.0154 so this is probably still pretty low of me only hitting it twice out of the six times and you're going to notice the probability goes up as I go along that's because if I'm a pretty good bullseye hitter chances are if I'm hitting it 8% of the time these are the values I should be expecting should be expecting to hit it quite a few times 3, 2... And last but not least, 0.2621. All right, so again, all I did was I used binome PDF, typed in 6.8, and then the number of trials. And then I got all these probabilities here. Now, for a probability histogram, this is pretty easy now because all I have to do is I have to take all these probabilities I just calculated, all these right here, and I just have to put my histogram related to the number of hits. So down below here, I'm going to put for my x-axis number of bullseyes and I'm probably even going to shrink this a little bit just so I have a little bit of space while I move this. That really, really tiny. There we go. And I'm going to put all my possibilities here. Because I have, let's see, 0, 1, 
two, three, four, five, and six. And I want a y-axis, but for what I'm doing, I don't need to make it super, super accurate. So for my y-axis, is going to be my probability. And let's see, my probabilities go up to about 0.4. So I'm just going to ballpark it. 0.2, then put 0.3 in the middle here, and then 0.1 here. So all I'm doing is I'm graphing the probabilities of these things happening. Now, the probability of getting zero is very, very low. So I'm going to make it very low, like right around here. Probability of getting one, that's still very low. Maybe slightly higher, but still very low. Probability of getting two, well, it's a little higher, but still pretty low. Now, once I get to three, things start to pick up a bit. I'm getting pretty close to one right here. So I can do that. Now, my probability for four, that's going to get pretty big. So that's when my axis starts getting a bit bigger here. So I'm looking at about for four, two, five. So I could get like right around here, somewhere in that ballpark. Now for five, this is when it gets really big. It's almost up to point four. There you go. And then point six, and then for six, probably hitting it six times. It's going to be a bit lower, but just slightly higher than four. So that is your, what they call the probability distribution function tables and histograms. It just shows you the probabilities of things happening given that number of trials. So as you can see here, the probability of me hitting that bullseye five times, or rather this Olympic archer hitting it five times, is higher than all the other probabilities. That means the probability of it happening zero times, one times, two times, even three times are all very low. Chances are if I'm really, or this Olympic archer is really this good, they should be hitting it about five times out of six. So that's all you're doing right here. You're just calculating these probabilities and making a histogram out of it. So there you go. That is a probability density, I mean, excuse me, distribution function. It just shows how these probabilities are distributed. And of course, when you add them all up, you should be getting an answer of one or very close to it, depending on your rounding. Hopefully this helps you with this. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Take care, guys.